Hey guys, I made a couple updates to my uh, Thunder Slam Jam build here, and I wanted to just make a video going over it for you guys. Um, again, if you haven't seen anything previous on it, uh, we're using the Three Dragons mask with the Pyre Ring to make uh, Herald of Thunder here freeze, and then shatter the screen with Herald of Ice. Uh, I use Leap Slam to proc the shock and freeze, also if Herald of Thunder misses out. Um, but I've got a waste pool map here just to show what the gameplay is like a little bit. I'll come back and um, explain my links and my skill tree a bit. And then I've got a 75 map uh, with more rares that we'll go to and uh, see what it's like on a bit higher level map. Um, my mobility is just using Leap Slam for the most part. Um, it frees up a flask slot so I don't have to run just quick silvers. Um, works out pretty well. Oh shit, corrupting blood somewhere. Um, yeah, but you leap slam, you freeze the screen, and then they just all shatter in unison because of Herald of Ice. Let's see. I run two at series promises. I try to keep at least one active all the time. There's Asphyxia. Pretty easy with uh, Echo, LMP, Vault Spark. The reason I use two promises is to keep both of them, I mean at least one of them, active at all times. Like this, because I'm using Duryani's Invitation, which will then uh, give me more freeze chance, which is pretty handy. You gotta watch out with Leap Slam a little bit. Um, that's why I do have one quick Quicksilver, so I can get around corners uh, without having to worry about desync. Um, but yeah, you just leap slam, it freezes the screen, here's Reflect, you can see I don't have any problems with Reflect anymore. Uh, I do have Ball Packed, and that seems to have taken care of it. Mm, now we're clear enough. I do have a... Oh, it looks like I'm desynced. There we go. Um, Arctic Breath to deal with uh, strong rares, GMP, Arctic Breath. Um, and then for bosses, I use a combination, if I need to, of Glacial Hammer and then Vol Spark with Echo and LMP, and nothing really survives that. So let's go over uh, the links real quick and my gear, and then I'll go over my skill tree and we'll do that 75. So for my main links, I'm using Herald of Thunder with uh, Elemental Proliferation and Empower in this scepter. The scepter is plus one lightning, plus, or plus one all gems, plus two lightning. Uh, Herald of Thunder at level 20 bumps up to 26, which uh, is, uh, where's my tooltip here, it's on average 4,400 damage per strike, but the total damage is uh, almost 9,000, and if I have a series promise up, it's 10k, uh, actually 11k damage, uh, up to 11. Um, so that's my main, what I built this build around to see if I can get it to freeze, since I'm using three dragons and I have prolif on that. Um, I've evolved to using Leap Slam uh, for more reliable freezes, but half the time the mob is already dead by the time I get to it. Um, I also have Herald of Ice here. Reduced mana, Life Leech uh, with Vol Pact uh, is extremely powerful, and uh, increased AoE. And what this does is when one mob uh, shatters, since everything's frozen, uh, Herald of Thunder will hit one mob, kill it, and then Chain React shatters everything because the super high AoE of Herald of Ice. I'm using Vol Spark here with Spell Echo, LMP, single target in Doriani's Catalyst for um, the Ellie Prolif. And that, if, if by some chance I don't freeze it, this will freeze everything. Uh, in my uh, five link here, I have Arctic Breath, uh, Conk Effect, Increased AoE, uh, GMP, and Mana Leech. Mana Leech, you don't really need. Uh, it's if you're sitting there shooting out tons of these. They're pretty mana expensive. They're 81 mana per cast. Um, you can see my mana here if I'm using it. You can get off about 4 before you run low. Um, with Leap Slam, you out regen the mana, so you don't need to worry about that. It's just if you're... This you don't really need. Um, here's my Glacial Hammer with increased uh, duration. That's optional too. 
Uh, and then I have Leap Slam here, Increased AoE, Prolif, and Faster Attacks. You really need Prolif on here because you saw earlier, um, you freeze one mob out of the whole pack and uh, everything's frozen. Um, I'm using three dragons. I'm using a Dorioni's Catalyst here, skinned as a Darkseer. Uh, but Dorioni's Catalyst is incredibly good for this build. Um, yeah, get these. <laughs> Uh, I'm using this, like I said, it's a plus three lightning staff. It helps a ton. It like doubles Herald of Thunder's DPS. Uh, I really like using it. Um, I guess another catalyst would be optional. Carcass Jack is great for this. Uh, I have as much AoE as I can get. I'm using these Asenath's Touch gloves, cursed with Ellie Weakness on hit. Um, I would recommend trying to get some gloves with Ellie Weakness. Uh, it helps a ton with the DPS of this build. For a while I ran Curse on Hit on my Leap Slam. You, uh, that's an, an option, but I like having every single thing you do damage to being cursed rather than just what you Leap Slam. I'm using Doriani's Invitation, a cold version. Since we don't do cold damage because I have the Pyre Ring, we miss out on that 1% cold leech. Um, but I do have Life Leech on uh, Herald of Ice, so... This is great, that's why I run two with Series Promises, so I can keep one up at all times. And that bumps up my freeze chance to, I think, 35? Uh, freeze chance, 25, yeah, it's 35 right now. You have like a one and third chance of freezing uh, one mob, but since we're hitting so many, uh, it's guaranteed you're going to freeze the screen. Uh, I'm using Wind Screams for the extra curse. I'm trying to corrupt another uh, Karu reward to get Curse on it, but I'm having terrible luck with it. When I do that, I'm going to be switching those out for a pair of rare boots with more resist and uh, or, uh, movement speed, but I'm okay with these since I just leap slam everywhere. Uh, the movement speed doesn't really affect me too much. For amulets, I just have an all res. Oh no, these aren't all res, uh, but uh, spell damage, cast speed spell damage does not affect um, Herald of Thunder but it does affect our Arctic Breath, so... The, with uh, Amulets and Rings, your two just go for resists and life. That's the main thing you're going to need from here. And then, like I said earlier, we have the Pyre Ring. This uh, converts all our cold damage from Arctic Breath and Ice, Herald of Ice. It converts it into Fire, which then shocks with the Three Dragons, which then starts uh, Herald of Thunder over again. Um, I have two, like, uh, instant and really fast flasks for in case I get stunned or have any spike damage I can just jam on those and uh, full heal and these will help the leech a lot since I have all packed. For the tree I started as a shadow and went through these Ellie damage because they affect both Herald of Ice, Arctic Breath and Herald of Thunder. Um, you want to get as much chance to freeze as you can. I went through the powers of Blood Siphon and Soul Siphon here, done the coordination just for a little extra cast speed, dexterity. You don't really need this node. Um, I came up here, I got these hybrid uh, nodes because we do have Carcass Jack on and it gives us a, a decent energy shield. Uh, plus these are incredibly efficient. Came around, I got more chance to freeze up here, 10% there. Uh, and I got just slight reduced uh, reserved mana. Um, I got a little shock or chance to shock over here. I had this for a while, but I, I expect out of it because I don't really need it. Get as much freeze chance as you can up here. I got all that. Uh, I came down. I got Blast Radius. You want the AoE. Uh, Deep Wisdom. And then these are really efficient too. They're in total, if you get these three, it's like a, more than a 5% health per node. It's pretty good. I uh, came through here. Got more life. For a while, I went up and I got Whispers at Doom. It's only six points out of my tree, so it's pretty good. But I, I got rid of that, and I got, uh, what's it called? Wind Screams, rather than that, so got more health. You come down, I went through Celestial Walker to get Amplify. You want as much LE damage and AoE as you can. This node's incredibly good, I got that. Came down for a little more life and mana. Shaper's decent. We don't have any life resist, but this was on the way, or life uh, regen, but this was on the way. Sign life wheel, and came down to ball packed. What am we missing? 
Um, yeah, that's my tree. I'll link it in the build guide. Um, some other options if you're lacking on the damage. Ash, Frost, and Storm is pretty good. It's a lot of LE damage there. Um, but this works out pretty well for me. So I've got this level 75 plateau map. More rares. Uh, let's see how we do in it. Oh, that was uh, the wrong map. So I guess we're gonna waste this jungle valley, but oh well. If I can load in. You know what? No, I wanna keep that map. Sorry. You know what? <laughs> there we go. The build works really well though, it's very fun to play, uh, very very safe since everything you hit is frozen and temp chained. You always want to get um, Herald of Thunder started with an Arctic Breath, and then after that you Leaf Slam. Uh, with an Series Promise up, there's a very high chance of freezing, and then the screen shatters. But I've been doing some 77 maps. The build doesn't really have a problem with damage. Pretty fast clearing because you don't really need to stop in mobs too much. You just kind of jump in and Herald of Thunder takes care of them on the way. My single target is not an issue anymore. Conk effect on Arctic Breath really helps. And then I have Vol Spark if I need to. But yeah, very defensive. Sick. Um, because everything's frozen in temp chain, you don't really get hit too much. And then Ball Pact takes over. If, if you keep an Atiri's Promise up, you have Leech on everything. And Herald of Thunder's passive Leech is powerful. Some resistant mobs you need to take it just to stop, you can't blast through it. But here's the boss here and he's frozen, I think I'm desynced. Yeah. You don't really have an issue with a single target anymore. And then if you want to, you can just pop all spark and fly through and nothing's gonna live. I'm not really doing any damage with Leap Slam. I'm using a level 2 Leap Slam. I'm not sure what the mana increase is on it, but it's mainly I'm using just level 2 because um, it's what I had and I don't need to level it up for damage. So I don't have any physical damage notes. I wanted to keep the mana cost low. But my DPS on it is 1k. Uh, it's really nothing. See if we can find a reflect mob and see what it's like. But yeah, so you just jump right into mobs. Nothing's gonna uh, worry you at all. When you do leap slam, hold shift. Um, when you do it, it it helps you jump a bit further. See if I don't hold it, your guy wants to run a little bit to get into range. But if you just hold shift, there's no delay. Like I said, you just do need to be a little careful jumping around corners or you will desync. Here's some reflect. That was a bit heavier than I was expecting, but uh, we survived fine. If we can find a strong box too, you can see how that works. Uh, it works essentially the same as anything else. You just jump. I usually open it and jump onto the box, leap slam at the same time, and you land, you freeze the whole box, 
and then they shatter and kill everything that's inside it. Even exiles, they tend to die from all the shotgun damage of uh, all the other mobs shattering. This was a very cheap build until I got up to about 75. Uh, the mid 70s. Is that it? Yeah, close enough. That was quick. Let me see if we can get something else. Some other map to see what uh, what else we can do. Oh, we got this bizarre map, right? Yeah, let's do bizarre. Oops. We get pack size. Let's throw some alt set it for a minute. Two boss. Um, you don't need to watch out for cold resist at all because you don't deal any. Oh, we'll do two boss. Double boss. Uh, fuck. <laughs> nope. Um, you don't need to worry about cold resist since we don't deal any cold damage. It's fire damage you need to worry about. Uh, that's good enough, whatever. But, uh, forget what I was talking about. It's a cheap build, I think that's what I was saying. Um, up until the 70s, I used two Dark Seers, which are great scepters, and they're only a couple chaos. You have to get them on Beyond, though. Um, the most expensive thing up until I got the cattle or the invitation was just three dragons. You can do this whole build between one and two exalts. And 